Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at a Royal Oak Offshore Diver. That's right, the Diver. The Royal Oak Offshore debuted as a chronograph, and all versions up until 2005 were chronographs or complex calendars. It wasn't until 2005 with the Wempe Limited Edition, the, the famed scuba model built for German distributor Wempe, that Audemars Piguet tackled the idea of a time-only Royal Oak Offshore. But when they did, they went whole hog. The idea of a true dive watch built on an offshore platform has a lot of intrinsic appeal. Dive watches should be technical. They should be big. They should be legible. A tool watch should be tough. It should be rugged. And the offshore, as originally conceived, was all of those things. What it wasn't, strictly speaking, was a dedicated ISO 6425 compliant dive instrument. And in 2005, with the Wempe Special Edition, AP started to remedy the situation and they continued by introducing the scuba into the mainstream lineup now we had a regular production time only royal oak offshore reference in 2010 they essentially perfected the formula with the watch you see here the reference 15703 stainless steel royal oak offshore diver and there is a lot to love here you have what could be compared to a classic mid-century dive watch look you've got the white metal, you've got the black dial, you've got the oversized indexes and the highly loomed hands, you've got a classic strap, you've got a pin buckle. This thing looks like it could be on the wrist of Jacques Cousteau in The Silent World, but all of the technology here is up to date and haute de gamme. Everything you would expect from an Audemars Piguet is present and correct. Case finish, strap quality, and of course movement technology and finish, and we'll get to that in a second. But let's talk about what makes it iconic as a Royal Oak Offshore. First and foremost, it's a member of that core genus that was made great by a combination of Gerald Genta starting in 1972 with the Royal Oak and Emanuel Geit in 1993 with the Royal Oak Offshore. You have that octagonal bezel with the inset white gold bezel bolts. Now the key thing about these is regardless of what the case might be made of, those bolts are always precious metal either rose gold or white gold through the years, depending on the model, but it's the steel itself that's been ennobled and brought up to the level of a true luxury watch. The original Offshore created a scandal by charging 3,300 Swiss francs in 1972 for a steel watch, and people asked, how can you justify that? And the answer was, it's the quality of the design, the manufacture, and the finishing, and that holds up here. All of the facets are as crisp as toast. Everything that's polished is polished to a mirror sheen. The finishing on this watch is every inch the equal of the classic AP dress references of the mid-century, but at the same time, those ultra-thin, haute de gamme, elegant dress references were coming out of AP. Companies like Omega and Breitling and Rolex were giving birth to the modern dive watch as we know it, and this watch picks up where those left off, taking that classic Royal Oak form and Royal Oak finish and elevating it with all of those ISO 6425 technical elements. You're asking, where is the bezel? Well, there it is inside. There's your ISO 6425 unidirectional internal rotating bezel. This is just like the super compressor divers of the 1960s in that you get all the functionality of that sort of 60 minute countdown timer, but none of the danger that's inherent with a bezel that could accidentally be knocked out of position. You gotta remember that during the 60s, Bezels on watches like the Rolex Submariner weren't always unidirectional. You could knock them backwards and overstay your dive. So the bottom line is the modern day standard is unidirectional, but if you want just that much more security and precision, you want internal rotating. And AP ups their game and brings that technology here. The watch still retains all of the watertight integrity you expect of an offshore, in fact more. While the chronograph models are water resistant to 10 ATM or 100 meters, this one here is a true 300 meter watch. So you can go diving with those Rolex Submariners, those Omega Seamaster Professional 300 meters. This watch is up to it, but what it's got that those don't have is true high horology finishing. The dial, that classic AP Royal Oak and Royal Oak Offshore patisserie waffle pattern is here and correct. Now this is the mega patisserie that's iconic of the offshores. It's bigger, it's deeper, it's more um, massively textured, but it's still cut on a traditional pantograph 19th century engine mechanism. So even though this is modern technology and a modern, bigger, bolder, chunkier aesthetic, it's still made the traditional way. And that continues inside the case where Audemars Piguet gives you its caliber 3120 movement. 
Now this watch features the 3120 base, which is Audemars Piguet's in-house successor to the old JLC movements that originally powered the offshore. It's finer construction. It's more rugged construction. It gives you a robust 60-hour power reserve because it has a bigger mainspring barrel. It gives you more resilience against shock-induced timing error because it has a free-sprung balance and a full dual-anchored balanced bridge. It also has ceramic rotor bearings so that the rotor winding system itself is going to need minimal maintenance for its life. In fact, the rotor bearings themselves are completely unlubricated. That's the latest materials technology, and it coexists alongside finishing that is up to the standard of any Audemars Piguet ever made. Now, Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, Vacheron Constantin, they are the big three, the holy trinity of Swiss watchmaking, and it's fine finish that earned them that reputation. When you tear this thing down and rip it open, your watchmaker is going to see the coat of arms of the Audemars and Piguet family blazing on the 22 karat golden winding rotor, not just because it's beautiful, not just because it's hard to do, not just because they take pride in putting detail where no one's likely to see it, but because this is the oldest continuously family-operated firm in the Swiss watch industry. Founded in 1875, it remains in the hands of the Audemars and Piguet Scions to this day. So not only are you getting a tremendous watch with tremendous content and a great history as a model, but you're buying into a company legacy that is second to none in Swiss watchmaking. Now there's one last detail that I want to highlight, which is this famous AP diver strap. Now this strap, which features the pin buckle and rubber attachments, was born on the diver models, first as the Wempe Limited Edition, then the Scuba. It wasn't universal to the Royal Oak line, but a lot of owners of the chronographs started buying this strap because they liked it more than the hornback alligator that came with the chronograph. So as of 2014, Audemars Piguet began offering this as a standard option on the offshore chronographs because it's just that good. But you get it standard with this Royal Oak Offshore 15703 Diver reference, and it really makes the experience. In addition to looking great, it feels a treat on the wrist. It's every inch the upscale, supple, wrist ergonomic experience you expect of a, a luxury watch. This watch is big and bold, but it's not a bully. It gets along well with the skin, and you're going to love that natural rubber strap on the wrist. So this watch comes with full boxes, papers, accessories, everything that you'd receive at the Audemars Piguet boutique or authorized dealer comes with this Royal Oak Offshore Diver. Everything that is except the factory's MSRP premium. So if you're into a dive watch that maintains the best of tradition alongside modern technology and contemporary style, I have a feeling this Royal Oak Offshore Diver reference 15703 with complete factory accessories will be the watch you want.